I have been wanting to ask this. Mm. What is so indah about the water? Hello Malaysia, hello world. Apa khabar? Welcome to another ECM Talk program. I'm here now at this Indah Water Research Center at Titiwangsa, Kuala Lumpur. We are here because of this special collaboration that we have with IWK for the purpose of helping our SEGI students to do their research projects here at the center. I have here with me Engineer Ko B. Chin, the head of Section Technology and Innovation Planning and Engineering de uh, de Department of IWK. Apa khabar? <laughs> Good morning. Yeah. Welcome to Indah Water Research Centre. Thank you. And I have here also Puan Alija Muhammad Anis, the head of unit. All right. Now, maybe I I will start with yourself, uh, uh, Miss Kong. Maybe you can tell us a little bit about IWK, a bit about his background the product and your vision and mission. Right. Um, Inner Water has been incepted since 1994. Uh, many may not be aware that Inner Water actually is owned by Minister of Finance Incorporated. Right. Uh, and then we are entrusted to operate and maintain public sewage facilities in 101 local authority in 11 states and 3 federal territories. Wow, yeah. So mm. currently, we provide services to um, more than 20, 29 million of uh, population equivalent and that covers more than 7,000 public sewage treatment plants and uh, I would say, well, more than 20,000 kilometers of sewer network. Right. Right. So our vision is to become a premier wastewater uh, company and then uh, that is to ensure uh, the customer receive a very efficient uh, sewage treatment facilities and means all their nightmare will not um, uh, how to say it, surface by all the blocked uh, I would say toilets or sewage and all this right. things. Yeah. Right. Now obviously I, IWK have been existing more than 20 years now have the understanding and the ability for customers to to sort of absorb what IWK is all about. Have, thought, have you all achieved that? I would say yes, because the um, the the awareness is becoming better. Right. And even though sewage treatment is unseen to many, exactly. But through the um, the sharing of the knowledge and then the promo, I mean, I would say our communication department has done a good job. Right. Our collection rate has been increasing. Right. Yeah, which is good. Yeah. Oh, that's good. So mm. that it has achieved that level yes. where most people, or rather most of your customers, like people like us, understand what the service is provided. Uh, I, yeah. I, I won't say 100%, mm. but the increasing awareness is there. Is there? Yes. Yeah. But it's a, it's a lot better than when you first started. Definitely. I'm sure. Definitely. Yes. Very good. Yeah. Puan Alija, can maybe you can tell us about the collaboration with our SEGI students. What are the research projects and what are your expectations? Okay, uh, actually in 2017, SEGI University has uh, approached and proposed to IWK to collaborate in the area of nanotechnology for uh, wastewater treatment improvement mm. and both parties has entered into a non-binding MOU yes. on 17 October 2017 uh, to allow a joint effort and to further discussion on the research and uh, develop research methodology on the wastewater treatment and later IWK and uh, Dr. Chen of Segi University uh, has entered uh, into a formal research collaboration agreement uh, for a uh, ammonia removal using nanotechnology approach project 
on uh, 18 December uh, sorry 28 December 2018 uh, and then uh, this research is focused on application and uh, the performance assessment of bimetallic nanotechnology right. for ammonia, ammonia removal in sewage or wastewater. Successful outcome of this project will benefit IWK and sewage industry uh, purposely uh, in exploration of new methodology of advanced uh, technology in wastewater treatment. Right. Mm -hmm. Are the students uh, going to be just here at the plant or at your research centre here in, okay. in Titi Wangsa or do they get a chance to go to your other plants around the country? Uh, so far here in our in, in the water Research Centre because uh, our obligation in the research collaboration agreement is actually to provide uh, or contribute uh, in terms of uh, facilitate in sampling of wastewater and also to provide uh, guidance to the student in, in using the analytical instrument, provide the lab bench, the laboratory equipment in, in the water research centre and also uh, to uh, provide them uh, access to our collection such as mm. thesis, uh, book, article and etc. Uh, right. we, we also uh, share our industry opinion and technology uh, apa, uh, means the technical comments on the operational uh, aspect of the research work. Okay. A lot has been said, but I think I can only understand <laughs> one sentence of what you said. <laughs> Coming back to you, uh, uh, Ms. Kaur, uh, are these uh, projects, these research projects aligned with the current industry demand and what are the career prospects for the students eventually? Uh, yes, I would say it definitely aligned um, because with, with the increasing awareness from the public about the importance of uh, clean water resource, um, we would expect the uh, regulations may be coming more stringent. Correct. So to remove nitrogen is actually one part of uh, requirement to fulfill the environmental re uh, regulation. Mm. Based on the conventional method, it is actually quite energy intensive. Mm. Hence, um, with this innovative technology from SEGI, it provides us an alternative um, to, to hopefully we could um, uh, be successful in, the, in this one mm. and then we'll be able to get something efficient and also um, low energy right. in right. removing an, uh, nitrogen um, I mean, from the wastewater. And I believe this is only the starting because once this technology is successful, then I believe they can continue to venture into something else. Mm. Right? Mm. So as for the students, uh, the knowledge in wastewater, I believe, is, will actually help the students a lot. Because mm. um, climate change is a big agenda. It is. Space. Yes. Mm. Water scarcity is also another big topic mm -hmm. because that is to align with the environmental sustainability. Exactly. Therefore, by having the first level exposure during this research is actually provide the students with a very good foundation when they get into the, um, I would say, the real working environment later. Interesting. Yeah. Very interesting. Right. Uh, what, what will the industry be like in the future, Ms. Kok? Um, first, probably, we would say it is very challenging to leave without a proper sewerage or sanitation system. Right. Right. Um, hence, with the rapid urbanization and modernization, we we'll expect everyone to be even more health conscious. Right. And with um, even more intense in terms of environmental awareness. Right. Due to that, we anticipate the demand for a more advanced technology will be increasing. In addition to that, to address the climate change issue, we have to make sure our system is very efficient mm. in terms of energy usage, mm -hmm. in terms of manpower, because manpower cost is getting expensive. It is, yeah. And then uh, we have to be reliable because we are providing um, a service to clean the pollutants, to protect and preserve the uh, water cost. Therefore, the future of the industry is this technology will have to be 
uh, becoming more advanced yeah. and smarter. Yeah. And hopefully with the incorporations of IR4, uh, as well as machine learning, it will help to make the entire system a very reliable to provide a very, prof I would say, uh, uh, efficient system for the general public. Right, right. Yeah. That's something that that it'll be a win-win situation. Yes. At the end of the day, that's yes. what it is. Yes. Coming back to you, Puan Alija. Students, you have students coming to you. I'm sure there are challenges. Maybe you can name one or two challenges that <laughs> you, you go through with the students. I know sometimes they're not that easy to handle. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. One of it that I can say is uh, critical thinking. Some of them may be lack of uh, critical thinking. Uh, uh, means their skill. Uh, their yeah. Skill. <laughs> yeah. So that the the I can say uh, one so of the. So what what would you do to to help them? What from I your side, what, <laughs> what can, can you do to help them? Yeah. Okay. Because sometimes when you're out here, yeah. not in the classroom, mm. you know, it's different, different environment. The exception of working in a different environment is it, it's not the same. What what okay. would you do to help? She them? is a very fierce teacher. Oh, I she is. Yes. Ah, so I'm okay. lucky that I'm not the student. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right. Yeah. Normally, uh, the student will uh, facing uh, challenging during their study lah, uh, right. because. Uh, what they plan is uh, normally sometimes not happen uh, as per their plan. Mm. So what I can say is if, uh, if you see something difficult to solve, uh, just find out find out out there. Maybe they have a solution. Yeah. Uh, like you can search from uh, journal publication. Right. Uh, not just rely on your uh, subject in Correct. your university Correct. or rely on us. As well, lah, right, because right. we also sometimes we have a limited uh, knowledge also about their study, lah. Because uh, this study, especially uh, on nanotechnology, is new for us. Correct. Uh, Correct. So they need to uh, find out the solution themselves, lah. They have to <laughs> take their own initiative. Yeah, yeah, their own initiative. Correct. Correct. Uh. Uh, Miss Ko, can you share some advice for the students to prepare themselves in the in the current environment? In the challenging current environment now? Yes. Okay. Um, to acquire knowledge or technical knowledge, I believe university will provide you a very good environment with the guidance from teachers, your uh, peers, even your tutors. Right. Now, the environment in a working society is unprotected. I would, I would name it this way. Yeah. Therefore, they must equip themselves with uh, I would say important soft skill namely one of it just now Alija mentioned critical thinking yes. right because when you come to work you're no longer in the university where teacher will, uh, or your lecturer will impart knowledge on you yeah. you're on the receiving end yeah. but when you come to the working society you're expected to contribute you receive salary in return you are delivering something right in order to do that you must be very confident and independent and you have to be, um, I would say, proactive. Communication is very important. Like Alija mentioned just now, you, you may not have solution for everything, but you need to know where to find solution. Sometimes through consultation with others, your seniors, or even your peers, or even your in the your vendors, your contractors. So, yes. so this is, I would say, a very very important skill that you have to build when we are you are still in the protected environment. Very good. I ha I've been wanting to ask this. <laughs> what is so indah about the water? You just imagine you. Oh, well, I'm not sure everybody has their different timing. Okay? Um, for me, it's early in the morning. You will, uh, I would say, produce your waste. Okay, after you digest and absorb everything. You don't even like to look at it. I believe many of you will just take on the flush and flush it out. 
So what inner water is doing, we make that into something that even when we discharge into the river, you don't see it and you do not know. So that is the indah part, I would say. I've been wanting to ask that. <laughs> it got the name in the water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the water. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you so much, Ms. Ko. <laughs> Thank you, Puan yeah. for being here with us and allowing us to be here at your research center. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you very Thank much. You. And um, please pay your bill. <laughs> and because um, we are all doing our part to protect and preserve the environment. Mm. Right. I'm not sure what I paid my latest bill. <laughs> I've got to check that. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Once again, thank you, Ms. Ko and Puan Alija. Uh, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Edu Channel Malaysia. Sehingga kita berjumpa lagi di program yang akan datang. Take care and stay safe everyone. Bye. Bye.